Welcome to the Glow Getters Podcast. My name is Kayla Fahey Arndt, and I'm your host. I teach and inspire leaders to step into their productive selves and find their true potential. I'm a passionate creative and scientist with over eight years of healthcare leadership experience. At age 25, I stepped into my first management role and didn't find the leadership advice I was looking for. So here I'm giving you the tools to end burnout and enjoy a vibrant career and life. Glad you're here to learn and grow with me. Now, on with the show. Hey y'all, welcome to the Glow Getters podcast. I am so happy to be here today. It's kind of like old school. So if you're used to watching the podcast on my YouTube channel rather than listening, there's no video today. It's just audio. And it's just because I kind of changed modes at the last minute. I was going to record a different topic today and it was going to be called how to decide what to prioritize. But I decided we need to talk about productivity and we need to talk about it in terms of how rest is productive too. Because there is an Instagram meme going around right now that I am like cringing every time I see it. And I'm just like, I need to address this. So today we're going to be talking about rest and how rest is productive. And if you're like, what? (laughs) I'm going to share my thoughts on this. And first, let me preface this conversation by saying that I used to be one of those people and I still fall into that camp where I have a really hard time resting because I am like the energizer bunny. I love to go, go, go. And honestly, my mind doesn't really stop thinking about ideas and passion projects and like the next thing I could be doing. That's just how I'm wired. Of course, you know, at the same time, it's funny. I don't really have a hard time sleeping. I'm not one of those people that like lays in bed and and is like anxious and can't fall asleep. Like I pass out. (laughs) So I don't know. There's like different types of people. But when I have a day off from work or when I'm, it's like the weekend, sometimes I do have a hard time winding down, but I've gotten so much better at it over the years after really flipping my mindset about rest So let me share this meme slash infographic with you. It starts with like a conversation to one's self. It says me. And then in brackets, it says extremely burnt out. (laughs) I need to take a day off to relax. And And then it says also me. I wonder if there is a way that I could relax that would be more productive. (laughs) And then the person's caption is, this is a personal attack. (laughs) I also have seen people repost this and they'll say, I feel seen. And it's like, yeah, I, I get that. I've been there. I've had that same thought too. But here's the thing. I want to give you guys a story and sort of like a, give you an image in your head to think about this in a different way that maybe you haven't heard before. So think about your phone. So let me give you a real life example (laughs) about my phone. So sometimes I don't plug it in at night for whatever reason or I forget or I'm on it doing, making content, doing different things and the battery goes low. You know, there have been times where I go to Target, I get to the parking lot and I'm like, you know what? Oh my gosh, like there is not enough battery on here for me to take my phone into Target. Because if you know anything about Target, they have this wonderful app called Target Circle. And you can scan all of your items and you can get a percent off and whatever, you can save money. So it's like, yeah, I want to be able to use my phone while I'm in the store. So I need to charge it. Well, if you know, if you have ever tried to charge your phone in the car, you know it takes a lot longer than it does if you're into an actual electrical socket in your home. It's just because it's it's your car. It's probably just not as powerful. It's, you know, it has other things to be (laughs) uh, providing power to. So your phone, it's not super fast, right? It's not as inefficient of a charge. So you're in the parking. This is me. I'm in the Target parking lot. I'm charging my phone while I sit there and wait. You know, I'm just like, okay, I'm waiting for my phone to charge. So it has like at least 20, 25% so I can go in the store. But then I get bored. So what do I do? I pull out my phone. I'm like, let me just like scroll Instagram or check a few things while it charges, right? I even try to turn the like screen brightness all the way down (laughs) as low as I can do it so that it keeps charging, you know, at a quick-ish rate. But here's the thing. It takes forever for your phone 
to, you know, even go up 1% in charge when you're actually currently using your phone, right? It's the same thing with you. (laughs) It's the same thing with your body, your mind, your spirit. If you are supposed to be resting, I say that in quotes, if you're supposed to be resting, but you're still using your mind, your body, your spirit, all these things, especially to do work, then you can't really recharge. You can't actually rest. So in the moment, when you have a day off, it might feel really, really good to get all your housework done, to get that laundry done and not have that pile of laundry looking back at you. And it, it might feel really good to check all the boxes of those like little things you wanted to get done. But the next day, when you have to go back to work, you're literally going to be saying to your coworker, your boss, yourself, I am still tired. I don't even feel like I had a day off. I need one more day off to actually do nothing, right? So we are extremely burnt out and we know we need to take a time, a day off to relax. And yet we're also, in, you know, it's ingrained in our culture, in our societal norms that rest isn't productive. And so even while we're supposed to be literally doing nothing, we're trying to find ways to be ad- productive and efficient when we're supposed to be taking a rest. Isn't that nuts? It's crazy when you think about it that way. If you're trying to use your phone while it's charging in the car, it's going to take a long time to charge. Same with you. If you're trying to use your body or your mind while you're supposed to be taking a rest, it's not going to work. So some examples of rest for me at least is not thinking about work super hard to do sometimes because often if you're a high achiever, you love what you do or in some sense you love the ideas that you come up with. And so you're always churning and thinking about that stuff, but it's not your responsibility to always be thinking about work. So if you can practice not thinking, (laughs) that will help your mental state so much. So for me, I use the Calm app and I do their 10 minute meditations I try to do them as much as I can. Um, I've talked about this on the podcast before, but I often like to do them like to start taking a nap. <laughs> it's not the, really the right way to, t- to do meditations, but I feel like it's not one size fits all. It's whatever works for you. So that helps me calm my mind and just like stop thinking about stuff and then gives myself space and permission to sleep, to like literally turn off my brain for a little bit and rest my body. So rest to me is literally like meditation and sleep. Um, It can also be, you know, like things that you might normally think about, like watching TV. But oftentimes when we're burnt out and we're just like binge watching shows, that might not be the best break for yourself. But if you're in a good place, maybe you're missing your favorite show and you want to watch some episodes. You could do that. Go outside, take a walk. I find that when I can't stop thinking or I'm getting like like the to-do list is piling up in my head and I'm like, where do I start? Going out in nature really helps. Just getting some sunshine for a bit or feeling the elements on your face, the wind, <laughs> a little bit of rain never hurt you. <laughs> so just getting outside is such a great way to rest. Another way to rest that you might not think about is calling somebody you love and having a meaningful conversation, something that fills up your cup. So I call my sister. She calls me. I call my mom. I call my grandma. <laughs> People I haven't talked to in a while that just having that human connection with, it's so important. Texting or messaging a friend that you've been meaning to message forever and making some plans. You know, things are getting better. You know, obviously the pandemic isn't over, but It feels like it's the right time to start asking people, hey, you know, are you comfortable with going for a walk with me? You know, are you comfortable with meeting up for coffee? What would you be comfortable with? You know, at least let's start chatting again. (laughs) Let's come out of our like hermitness. And it's crazy what just one little like conversation can do for your mental health. Um, Another way to rest is to take care of your body. So exercise. 
Y'all, it's so much harder to start (laughs) than it is to keep going. You know, something in motion stays in motion. So the hardest part is starting. So if you're having a hard time with working out, but you know you need to do it for your health because it also gives you energy, which is also helpful for rest. It makes it primes your body to be able to sleep better, but also makes you gives you more energy in the moment. And right after throughout the day is set out your clothes the night before, do it right away in the morning. Or if you're somebody who is like a night owl, like have that evening routine, um, make plans. Think about what you might do and what you might not do on your day off when you're supposed to be relaxing and set really, really clear boundaries. So one thing that I'll often say is if you need anything, if it's emergent, you can call me. (laughs) And that's true, but I prefer that you don't. (laughs) So, you know, have like a backup or somebody that can answer questions at work before they come to you. So maybe you're like the second or third person they're going to call. So think about like, where can I set a boundary? And where can I try to respect my time and energy more? And just recognize, maybe make a list of the things at home that, you know, these are the things I want to get done, but they are, they don't equal rest. They're housework. (laughs) So make different time to do your housework than you would for your rest time. So there are so many ways. I think you guys are all smart and can think of different ways to rest and define what's not rest. But my biggest tip is just If you are smart enough to recognize that you are extremely burnt out and you need to take off time to relax, recognize that it's not resting if you're actually working and trying to be more productive on your day off for work. (laughs) Do something that fills you up mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, that you can feel like, wow, like I feel very joyful. I feel like I had a nice purpose today. Like today felt simple. It felt, I made me feel happy. I'm, I feel rested. I feel energized. I feel good. And maybe it doesn't happen in one day. Maybe you need more than one day. So consider if you're not taking your PTO, if you're not preemptively scheduling long weekends, if you tell yourself, I'm too busy, I can't take a day off, that's probably a sign that you need some time off. So even more of a reason to find out some time in your calendar, carve it out, work with your boss, work with your team to take some rest and y'all do nothing, do nothing or do whatever lifts you up and, and helps you so that you're not on this constant up and down roller coaster of burnout. Cause I've been there and I still occasionally get there myself, but it's so important not to perpetuate these societal norms and memes on Instagram because people think it's normal. It's not normal. We need to change the narrative and flip the script because you are so worth the rest. You are so worth it because the next day you're going to come back even more energized and ready to go with so much more clarity than you would have had if you would have worked through your rest time and been quote unquote productive. Rest is productive. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave me a nice rating or review on iTunes. I would so love it. Screenshot this episode and tag me at Glow Getters Podcast or at Kayla Fahey Arndt on Instagram. So I know you listened. I so appreciate your support. And until next time, rest and be a light. Talk soon. Bye. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening to the Glow Getters podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, please give me a good rating and review. I would so much appreciate all the good feedback you have for me. If you like this content and you want to get some more of it, maybe even see me (laughs) and watch some videos, you can check out my YouTube channel. Just search Kayla Fahey Arndt and you should be able to find my channel, which I call the Leadership Collaborative, which has tons of great information on leadership and tells you a little bit more about my leadership collaborative community that is always enrolling at the end of each month. All right, everyone. Thanks so much again. I hope you stay well and safe. Be a light. Talk soon. Bye.